Hi everyone, my name is Julie Reynolds. I'm a nurse. I've worked in disciplines ranging from spinal cord injury to ICU to emergency room to med surge uh, to cardiac uh, units, telemetry units, um, long-term care, uh, psychiatric uh, disciplines. And um, I just, in this video, I want to uh, explain to you and demonstrate to you how to don or put on and remove certain personal protective equipment items, how to effectively use hand sanitizer, and also how to effectively use hand sanitizing wipes. The reason I'm doing this is because um, I believe there are a lot of people out there that really are unsure about how to effectively uh, put on, take off, and to use these certain items. Um, I've seen it in stores when, uh, you know, COVID-19, uh, you know, came about and everyone was rushing out, uh, you know, into the stores trying to get uh, everything that they needed. Um, and especially now because I'm seeing a lot of homemade masks and, you know, you got to be really careful. You got to be really careful and cognizant of, for those folks who are making the mask, um, you know, what material, what type of material you are using, um, because the material has to be non-permeable, okay? Permeable is basically defined as, um, you know, uh, the, the material is able to absorb any type of liquids and or gases, and you do not want a mask like that. The mask has to be non-permeable, uh, meaning no liquids or gases can pass through that mask, okay? So for those of you who are making these masks, and you know, you may be donating them or you may be selling them, uh, just ensure that um, you know, those, the material you are using is non-permeable and that the mask are able to get a good seal, okay? Because if not, um, it defeats the purpose of what uh, the mask is supposed to be used for. Um, and I say this too also because I, I saw a video um, posted on Facebook where someone was actually uh, making a mask out of a bra cup, okay? Um, and I've actually saw someone uh, in the store with a bra cup mask. However, um, they didn't have a good seal, right? You could actually see um, in the sides of that mask. And so that defeats the purpose. That mask is not going to protect you from COVID-19. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, okay? And I'm going to get started with the mask, okay? We're going to get started with the mask. Um, now, uh, your mask, you want to make sure, again, is of non-permeable material. You want to make sure that there's a wire at the top end that's going to fit over the bridge of your nose so you can shape it and it will form a really good seal. So the first thing that you want to do is actually place the mask over your nose. And then the first strap, if you have the ties like I do, I do uh, the uh, head strap, you want to go make sure that it goes like midway your head and then the bottom strap will go uh, lower down, okay? So I'm going to place the mask over my nose, if I can get it over my nose here, okay? And I'm going to tie the top straps. And when you tie them, I always tell people, you know, make sure you don't tie it in a knot. Either tie it in a loose bow or a slip knot, then the bottom straps are going to come around. And they can, you know, you can call these the neck straps also. Okay, oh, if I can get this tied here, there we go. It's going to go right at the top of my neck. And I'm going to turn around so you can see how I have it tied. Okay. So that's how I have it tied in the back, right here, top and the bottom. Now, once you get it on, that wire that's at the top, you want to go ahead and form it to the bridge of your nose, okay? 
and making sure that you have a good seal. Okay, if you breathe in, your mask should collapse. That will let you know that you have a good seal. If it doesn't collapse, then you don't have a good seal. Okay, so just breathe in, it collapses, you have a good seal. Also, another test to make sure that the material is non permeable, you can just spray. I just have some body spray here. Just spray a skirt. If you are able to smell it, you're able to smell that spray, then the material is permeable, meaning this spray that I just sprayed is passing through my mask, okay? So then it's not of good material, okay? Um, I can't smell it, so I know that this mask is made of non-permeable material, okay? If you're able to smell it, you're able to taste it, the mask is no good, okay? If there's no wire uh, frame or, or seam where you can uh, where you can actually shape it to the bridge of your nose, the mask um, is no good, all right? So I'm gonna spray it again, okay? Just a squirt, okay? I can't smell it, okay? I cannot smell the perfume. So I know that this mask, if I have to go out uh, to get necessary supplies, I know that this mask uh, will be good, okay? The next thing is putting on your gloves, okay? So you're just going to put your gloves on normally, okay? Just make sure it covers. If you're wearing long sleeves, make sure that your gloves, the cuff of your gloves, go over the cuff of your sleeves, okay? So if I had on long sleeves, my sleeves would actually be inside my gloves, okay? So putting on the mask. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this PPE, okay? So to remove your gloves without self-contaminating yourself, you want to make a C with one hand. This is going to give you some extra room here, okay, in the middle of your palm. So make a C. You're going to grasp the middle of your palm with the opposite hand, uh-oh, and remove it. Ball it up. With one, two, or three fingers, you're going to go underneath the glove. Okay, like I'm doing so. You don't want to touch the outside because the outside is uh, contaminated. So you're going to go on the inside without touching the outside and pull it over. Now I can touch all over this glove because the inside of the glove is considered clean. The outside is considered dirty okay so we remove the gloves and then you want to immediately dispose of your gloves into the trash container okay uh the next thing that you want to do is take off your mask so um the the head strap or the top strap is considered clean your neck strap or the bottom strap is considered dirty so you always want to remove clean first and dirty last. So I'm going to untie my neck strap, or not my neck strap, excuse me, but my head strap. And then I'm going to untie my neck strap. Okay. And I'm going to hold the mask on the inside and then I will immediately dispose of my mask in the trash okay now after oh, i just touched my face right so after i gotta get used to not doing that after you remove those items you really want to wash your hands with running water and soap um and i'll do a video on proper hand washing um later on but you will want to wash your hands with running water and soap however if you're out and about which i'm hoping you're only out and about for doctor's appointments or what have you, and you you know, you know have hand sanitizer, um, you can use your hand sanitizer. Now, with hand sanitizer, 
um, you know, you want to have enough. I know a lot of people say only one squirt will do, but you want to get enough hand sanitizer to where it will cover all areas of your um, hand and your wrist and your fingers and your fingertips. Um, and you want to interlace your fingers, clean in between your fingers, your thumbs. Don't forget your thumbs because your thumbs are always uh, the most forgotten area of your hands to clean, okay? And then I will also clean my fingernails, okay? Try to get up underneath my fingernails. And you'll do this until your hands are completely dry, okay? So no air drying, no blowing, okay? You have to rub that hand sanitizer on all surfaces of your hands, fingers, fingernails, and up to your wrist, okay, until your hands and all areas are completely dry. So my hands are completely dry. This is the effective way on how to use hand sanitizer, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is show you how to use, effectively use the sanitizing wipes. Okay, so I've put on another pair of gloves, okay, um, just to demonstrate how to use sanitizing wipes. Now, what's really, really important in, um, you know, using these wipes effectively is reading the back, reading the directions, okay? Um, these are Clorox disinfecting wipes. You want to read the directions in the back because it will tell you how many minutes you need to rub or clean whatever surface you are cleaning. And this is where a lot of people make a mistake, right? A lot of folks will take out uh, the wipe and just wipe the surface down and then be done with it, right? But each each sanitizing wipe or sanitizer has specific, a specific amount of time that you need to wipe down, vigorously wipe down the surface. So for instance, these Clorox disinfecting wipes, you have to actually vigorously rub the surface for four minutes, okay? Four minutes in order to kill any viruses, right? So you're gonna rub it down. I'm just using my uh, body spray bottle. You wanna rub it down and you're going to do this. If you have the Clorox disinfecting wipes, you are going to do this for four minutes, rubbing it down, okay? Rubbing it down. So time has lapsed, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and rub it for four minutes for this video, but that's what you wanna do, okay? So whatever, type of disinfecting wipes or sanitizing wipes that you are using, please read the directions on the back because it will give you the specific amount of time that you need to rub down, vigorously rub down or clean or disinfect um, the surface that you are doing in order for this to be effective, okay? So let's say I've wiped it down for four minutes. Okay, four minutes have passed. I'm good to go. Now what you want to do is you want to let it set uh, for until it's completely dry. Okay, uh, there may be uh, packages that will tell you the amount of time, but you know, every surface is different. So you want to just make sure you leave it until it is completely dry. Now, you can go ahead and remove your gloves. Again, you're going to uh, make a C with your hand, go into the middle, grasp from the middle of your palm, pull it out along with the sanitizing wipe. I'm balling it up, going underneath my glove without contaminating myself, pulling it off, and voila, you're done, okay? And then you will wash your hands with running soap and water, or if you do not have um, access to a sink, 
You can always use your hand sanitizer. Make sure that it is um, the alcohol base is at least 60%, okay? At least 60%. Um, and just make sure that you rub all areas of your hands, fingers, nails, up to your wrist until you have rubbed it dry. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. And the next video, I will show you how to properly and effectively wash your hands. Thank you. Goodbye.